today, we'll look at some new faces on the Detroit Pistons Summer League team. If you haven't yet, please share and subscribe to help grow the channel. I hope you enjoy the video. Today's video is powered by SeatGeek. Get $20 off any tickets sold using promo code AntWright on the SeatGeek app or website. At this point, we all know who the returning Detroit Pistons are, along with the players recently drafted, as you saw in my recent video breaking down the different draft selections with Cade Cunningham, Isaiah Livers, Luka Garza, and Bolger Kaprovica. When it comes to the newcomers for the Summer League roster, Isaiah Livers is recovering from a foot procedure after an injury sustained back in March and won't be available. Kopravica will be available once the Plumlee trade is finalized. The Pistons are rounding out their Summer League roster and have made a few signings from undrafted players. 6'5", 190-pound shooting guard John Petty Jr. went undrafted in the 2021 NBA Draft, but will join the Pistons Summer League to earn a two-way contract with the organization. Out of high school, the Huntsville, Alabama native was ranked number 33 overall and the number five shooting guard in the country. The two-time Alabama Mr. Basketball elected to stay in-state and attend Alabama. While there, he was a two-time All-SEC performer, amassed 1,539 points, which ranked 16th in program history. And twice, he was able to hit 10 threes in one game. And that's his strength, it's his shooting. He hit a school record 311 threes while at Alabama and was a career 38% three-point shooter. He earned his way onto Jonathan Gavoni's top 100 big board and was rated the number 72 prospect overall and the number 21 shooting guard. High praises as one of the higher ranking seniors available. While preparing for the NBA draft, he had some family matters to attend to and had a couple of injuries that set him back. So he couldn't really work out with teams the way he wanted to. Even at the NBA Combine, he could only do the shooting drills and that's about it. But Detroit has been on him since he declared for the 2020 NBA Draft, so they were well aware of what he's capable of. This could turn out to be a steal by the Pistons. Out of all the new additions, 6'4's Petra Littleson out of Toledo is very intriguing. You see Kelly Olenek get signed and then John Petty, now Spencer. It's pretty clear the Pistons want to give number one draft pick Cade Cunningham an arsenal of shooters. We'll see if Petty and Littleson can make the squad, but the Michigan Mr. Basketball finalist out of Rochester Hills, Michigan, shot a blistering 47% from three while making the most threes in all of Division I last season, knocking down 103 from long range. Littleton was all conference, but what can find him a place in the league is not only his shooting, but his defense. He was all defense in the MAC, so if he can hold his own on the perimeter, he's an added shooting threat space in the floor for Cade and the other playmakers. 6'6", Anthony Tark out of Gaithersburg, Maryland, has had a roller coaster of a college career, but finished it off with a bang. Played at NJIT and UTEP before ending his career at Coppin State, where he took over the league. The 6'6", 220-pound, do-everything swingman led the team to their best conference finish since 2011, putting up 16 points and over 8 rebounds per game. In the MEAC, Tark was Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, First Team All-League, and All-Defense. Athletic, good with the basketball, aggressive off the bounce when attacking the paint, and a big, versatile defender. Hasn't shown to be a consistent outside threat yet, but as a pro, the lefty will have more time to work on his game and what he needs to do to become more well-rounded. Blake Francis is a six-foot lefty point guard out of Herne, Virginia. The two-time All-Atlantic 10 player started his career at Wagner for two years before moving on to Richmond. He made 263s in his career at an almost 39% clip. His shooting attempts were pretty much 50-50 between threes and twos, so he had a well-balanced attack. When he's in the game this summer, his job is to fill it up, but will also need to create for the other guys on the court. He will allow K to get repetitions off the ball, and he will get his reps off the ball as a shooter to spot up for both Cade and Killian Hayes. He's an aggressive guard with a smooth release who isn't afraid to take the ball into the teeth of the defense despite being one of the smaller players on the basketball court. Now, these rosters will continue to change, but this is how it stands as of now. The Pistons have games starting on Sunday against OKC at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ESPN2, and the big ticket game being on Tuesday, August 10th, against the Houston Rockets and number two pick Jalen Green at nine o'clock on ESPN. Dan Dockage.
can't guard me.